It's time for Ask the Tech Guy a question all about how long SSDs last. Next. Ask the Tech Guy comes to you from the LastPass studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Hello, everybody. The last Ask the Tech Guy for 2019. We're looking ahead to 2020. Wow. Happy New Year, everybody. Our question actually today comes from our message boards. We have a really uh, active message board at twit.community. And Tokyo Tony is a regular in there. Despite his name, he's in Newark, New Jersey. Live, apparently lived in Tokyo for a long time. With a great question that stimulated a lot of conversation. He says, I bought a new iMac with an internal SSD, solid state drive. How long under normal use, I'm not a power user, should it last? I've heard SSD's cells start to fail after a while. So this is a common misconception about SSDs, that they're somehow not going to last as long. And in fact, they wouldn't, except for some very sophisticated circuitry in the controller of the solid state drive. This circuitry does something called wear leveling. See, the problem is that the memory cells on any solid state memory, NAND memory, will wear out after many, many uses. You can write to them only so many times, and then they'll just stop taking data. To prevent this from happening on an SSD, the controller software, the firmware, uses something called wear leveling to even out the wear across all the cells. There are many cells, billions of cells on a modern SSD. So by wear leveling, they can make sure no one cell gets written to too many times. And my experience with SSDs has been they are just as reliable, in fact, probably more reliable than any spinning drive. There are no moving parts, after all, and uh, they don't get as hot. Uh, there's no actuator arm. There's no spinning disk. So it kind of makes sense. A solid-state drive should last a good long time. So early fears that SSDs would be fragile have really proven unfounded. Our friend Alan Mal Malventano, who was a PCPC perspective, now works at Intel, was my SSD guru from the very earliest days of solid-state drives. And he agrees SSDs are very, very reliable these days. We did have a friend uh, who, in the earliest days of SSDs, tried using an SSD as his swap disk for Windows, burned it out very quickly. But again, this was in the early days, pre-wear leveling. Tony did say he'd found a program that uh, for his Mac called Drive DX, which would give him information about how his drive had fared and its overall health rating and would even give a time left indicator on the drive. I had to give him the bad news that this is a program like many and I downloaded it and bought it. It's $20. Good thing to have, but it's using something called Smart. And smart technology is unfortunately not as smart as it sounds. S-M-A-R-T, which uh, stands for Self-Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. It was created, I think, with the best of intentions for hard disk drives, spinning drives. But the manufacturers really decided not to give it all the power it might have because they didn't want pop-ups showing up saying your drive is about to die. And that was what Smart was supposed to do. So Smart is somewhat limited in its capability of diagnosing drive failure. Still, this uh, Drive DX is actually pretty cool. It shows you all sorts of information about your drive and gives it an overall grade for lifetime left and health rating. Uh, in fact, Tony's drive said he had a, one issue, a failing indicator pre-fail on lifespan. Don't know what that means. And Drive DX said your lifetime is good, 100%. So I wouldn't worry about it, Tony. SSDs last as long, if not longer, than spinning drives. These days, they're so reliable, and they're so much faster than spinning drives that I think you're going to be better off putting an SSD in wherever you can. The only negative on solid-state drives is the price. They're slightly more expensive per gigabyte, per gigabyte than spinning drives, but that price is dropping dramatically. 
for myself, whenever I buy a new computer, I put a solid state drive in. I don't use spinning drives anymore, uh, except maybe in my network attached storage device. And that's only because I want a huge amount of capacity for as little price as possible. So SSDs, safe, reliable, they're going to last a long time. Buy them, use them, you're going to be happy. Our show today brought to you by LastPass. As you know, the personal password manager that helps secure everywhere you work and live. You can share passwords or notes with LastPass to employees or family members. It holds personal and corporate credit cards, pictures of passports, and other important documents. And they now offer passwordless login options for employees. And that really means not only better security, but more efficient productivity for your employees. They love single sign-on. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how LastPass can help you at home and at work. Lastpass.com slash twit. That's it for Ask the Tech Guy. If you have a question for me, easiest thing to do is email askthetechguy at twit.tv or join us in our Twit community. It's at www.twit.community. We'll see you next year. Bye-bye. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email askthetechguy at twit.tv.